all right then so today we're gonna look at getting a character out of character creator 3 and into unreal so you can play as a new character rather than the default mannequin so let's go all right then so this is character creator 3 i'm not going to be giving you a tutorial on the software um, as i don't know everything myself anyway but there's a lot of features in this it deserves its own tutorial i've only got the trial version and this is the pipeline if i go i don't know if it's there this is the pipeline trial so anyway i've made this character as i said i'm not going to talk you through that we're just going to export this now go to file um export and select fbx clothed character and it's saying i've only have eight times remaining on your license with the pipeline trial you only get 10 exports so i've still got eight left that's fine for me there's the dialogue right okay so we want to get the tool preset to be unreal so here you can put uh, if you're bringing in animations as well because you can use animations like an eye clone and stuff you want to select that i'm only taking the mesh so mesh will do here you can put a prefix or a post fix i think that's called a suffix usually okay uh, texture settings, embed textures or not, max texture size. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep mine, check mine and put it as 248. You don't have to, it's up to you. Uh, convert image format. I think I will change mine to ping. And this is for the motion. So if you had motion selected up there, you'd have options for your animation right there. And you can delete hidden faces if you like as well. Uh, I'm going to leave mine as they are. Uh, and you've got LOD um, options there as well. Install LOD. You can have up to three by the looks of it. Oh, you can have up to five, sorry. If you so want to. I'm not going to bother with that. So I'm going to click export. And it's just warning me it can't be imported back if you make any of the changes outside of the software, like UVs, changes to the mesh, or removal of the T-pose data. That's fine, okay. And then pick somewhere to save it and give it a name. I am gonna create a folder. I don't know, this Jim and Lucy are two that I made earlier. Uh, I'm gonna call this guy Peter. Let's call him Peter. Save him in there. And I'm gonna call him this file Peter there. So it'll be Peter FBX and click save. This could take a while or not, obviously depending on your computer and depending on what clothes are there and if there are animations there or not, so forth and so forth. Okay, we are done. Let's get into Unreal. Oh, just one more thing. Before we do leave Character Creator, we're going to need to go to Plugins. Oh, head up, Character Creator and then get tool for unreal that'll open up your web browser bring it to a website scroll down download and install that all right once you downloaded that you will get a file similar to this one what you need to do is pick the engine your version that you're using you may have a newer version than this like 25 um, i'm currently using 24 so select all and drag them into your project folder not in the content folder in the project folder so what is in this content folder will automatically be put into your content folder and then if you do have unreal already open you need to close it and reopen it once you do that you will have new plugins are available click manage plugins and if it pops up on the right screen, you will have Character Creator and iClone Auto set up and it's enabled. Happy days. Close that. If it says it's out of date, just click that. And you'll see up here you've got a CC setup. Awesome stuff. Now we can get the ball rolling in Unreal by creating a folder. Calling it whatever you like. I'm calling it Peter. 
It'll open that up. All right, so we're going to grab Peter and drag him in. Select standard shader or whatever shader you want. I'm going to go with standard. On the import dialog box, you want the skeletal mesh. You want to select the mesh as the UE4 mannequin and hit the down arrow there. You want to make sure use two as ref pose or TO as ref pose is selected. We want import morph targets to be selected. We want to scroll down to the materials, hit the down arrow and we want do not create material and we want to deselect the import textures because character creator setup plugins are going to do all that for us. And now we can click import all. And you might want to go get a cup of coffee right now because this might take a while. All right, then now it's all imported and we can now select our mannequin guy and go over here. We can select Peter. Make sure that the uh, third person anim blueprint C is selected. And um, that is it. Job is done. Let's press play. Make it full screen. I've made a little error with his shirt that I should have fixed that in character creator. Oh, well too late now we can run around as peter if we want to have a close look up to a wall bring the camera around and there you go there he is in all his detail and glory oh peter i sure i fixed that shirt before i started making this video but for some reason it hasn't saved oh well there you, there you go anyway that is that have fun with that nice and easy couldn't be simpler, I'm more straightforward. Till the next one, I'm out.